ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. We guarantee praise, worship, motivation, and inspiration. On tonight's show, we have Jeremiah Hicks. Coming, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. We are here to do nothing but have a good time. Anybody know that if you have a good time, you add years on to your life? Absolutely. This show is going to be crazy. I'm so glad we got so many up and coming artists that are going to be hitting the stage today because here at the Lonnie Hunter Show, we believe that there are people that have the name, and then there are people who have the real talent, but not the name. And if you ever hear them, how many of you know that you can go into a storefront church and hear the next Patti LaBelle? Yeah. yeah. So we want to give everybody a chance to have a platform, 86 million homes on the Impact Network, and um, that's who they'll be performing for, for you and them. Now, as we go forward, I'm just kind of grateful as I was standing backstage, I was thinking how grateful I am about having life and health and strength. Any, who's healthy right now? You have no idea how great that is because I was watching commercials today when I was kind of putting the show together and every commercial has you feeling like if you take this, you'll be this, huh? But the stuff you have to go through maybe to get this, I just would rather stay sick over here. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? I'm watching these commercials and they're like, oh, da da dee da da. If you want to have clear skin, take this. And then he started talking real soft. Side effects include kidney failure, excessive bleeding. I'm like, well. <laughs> How about I keep this bump <laughs> and I keep my kidneys? Am I right about it? <laughs> so listen, the first defense for anything is prayer. Yeah. Uh, if anything goes wrong, just go ahead and put your hands up and say, Lord, you got this, because I don't want none of those side effects. It is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. We are so glad you're here, ladies and gentlemen. Tap your neighbor and say, are you here to have a good time? Now, what they say. <laughs> yes, sir. We will be right back. Stay close for more of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. I don't know who ever made up the Italian cut suits. What do the guys in Italy eat? How do they wear these? Because <laughs> I can't breathe. I promise you I can't breathe. <laughs> right, right. Right, God, help us. What's this? <laughs> this. Y'all know I'm a clown all night, right? <laughs> Don't that look better? Is that Goldwire McClendon? What's up, buddy? Ladies and gentlemen, Goldwire McClendon, one of the baddest boys in the city. Yeah. I gotta have you on the show, man. Coming up, for real, for real. You doing it for real. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. We are back. Yeah, with more of the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. Listen, 
before we go any further, you know, there are some things that people say all the time, like 40 is the new 20, or 60 is the new 30, or, you know, when you try to stay young. How many of you know if you keep a lot of young people around you, you stay young? But sometimes, have you ever tried to have a conversation with a young person? I mean, somebody that's between the ages of, say, 15 and 20, their conversation is totally different. It's like a new language. Now, if you consider yourself to be hip to the new language, clap your hands. Okay, all right. Uh, the man in the striped shirt right there, what's his name? I'm not a man, I'm a woman. Okay, come here. Come here. I can't see, in the striped shirt, yeah, I can't see for the lights. You got on jeans, right? Yeah. Come here, come here and see me. Uh uh, just stand right there. Stand right there, stand right there. Uh huh. What's your name? Marsha. Marsha? Marsha Cross. All right, Marsha Cross, and you consider yourself to be hip, right? All right, well, my 15-year-old gave me some words that I've heard him say when he was in a conversation with me, and I have to stop the conversation and be like, what that mean? I have to make sure he ain't cussing me out on the sly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you in trouble. So, Marsha, I'm going to give you some new slang terms, and then you tell me what that means, all right? But I don't know what everything means. We're going to see how close you come. Right. You, you, you say you hip, right? Yeah, I'm hip. Okay, well, let's be hip together. You ready? <laughs> All right, so if I'm telling you a story and you're looking at me and I'm like, yeah, no cap, what that mean? No cap, uh. no cap. <laughs> <laughs> no cap means no joke. I'm not joking. I'm telling you the truth. No cap. No cap. I know you believe me because I got it on my car. <laughs> I know I'm right. So, uh, Marsha, it is it's not because you don't have a hat on that it's no cap. All right? Let's try another one. Uh, I'll be there in a minute. I got my slats with me. We good. You got your friends with you. Good, yeah! <laughs> my slat is my boy. All right, listen. I'm about to be real tight right now. Now, you, you hear all the audience helping you? Don't say what they say and they're wrong. <laughs> They straight wrong, Marsha. I'm so tight right now, I don't know what to do. Boom, I'm mad. Yeah, you real tight, you looking tight, Marsha, you looking tight. <laughs> Not thank you. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right, Marsha, listen, before I get over there, I got to make sure I got my guap up. Yes. Thank whoever's behind you, because that's who told you. <laughs> Marsha, we love you. Stay right there. Stay right there. Marsha, are you a mother? You're a mother. So I'm going to give you a gift from the Lonnie Hunter Show, OK? From us to you. Enjoy. That's a great candle. You'll have a great time. It's from Tiffany's. You'll love it, all right? Yeah. All right, love you for real. <laughs> We'll be right back with more of the Lottie Hunter Variety Show. Stay right here. Yes, sir. Another episode in, ladies and gentlemen. You know how we do it, right? Thank you. Last week, 4th of July weekend, hopefully everybody had a great weekend. We gave you a rerun of the most talked about show this season, and man, Y'all loved it. So uh, we're back on track. This is another show. I got a lot of good surprises in this show, but I'm really glad that you all are hanging in there with me. Man, are you following me yet? Follow me on Instagram right now. Lonnie Hunter Music, Facebook, Lonnie Hunter Music, uh, Twitter, Lonnie Hunter Music, Periscope, just fold your phone up and throw it away. We don't even got to worry about it, all right? <laughs> but yeah, man, let's go back to the show and have a good time. It's the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show right now on Impact Television Network. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, to the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. We are here and excited because we get an opportunity to, to introduce you to some people 
who you may not know yet, but you will know. It is the up and coming artist segment of the show, and I want to bring this young lady to the stage. She was born in Guyana, South America, migrated here in 1996 as a missionary, and the daughter of a preacher, married 12 years, and I am so glad that she is one of the people who writes her own music. Put your hands together for Yonette Odessa. Whatever it is that you're going through tonight, God says that it will work. So come on, declare this with me. Say it's going to work, because I believe, I got faith, just wait and see. Say it's going to work, because I believe, somebody shout out. Yeah, I know I'm worried right now, but he said we'll make a way. So come on, worries, watch down. I know I'll be okay. Cause wherever God allows, I know it's got to work for me. Say it'll work. Cause I believe in his word. Uh-huh. Cause I got faith, radical faith. Just wait and see. Come on, say, say it'll work. Cause I believe. take somebody who wins it to what I gave yesterday to Cancun, Mexico, right? Yeah. But I need two people. Is that ECC, right? And your pastor is? He's going to be one of the contestants. Do I have another pastor here? Who do I have? What's the name? Oh, Pastor Johnson. All right, y'all gonna go neck to neck. All right? What's gonna happen is, it's a game that says, how well do you know your word? I am going to, listen up, listen up. This is how it goes, this is how it goes. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. I'm going to start reading a scripture. When I stop, you tell me the word that goes into that place, and I'm going to keep reading. And you go as long as you can, and when I stop, the one who got the most answers right will win. It's a trip for two, so you can take your wife. You, you married too, Johnson, right? Oh, that was your wife that suggested you. That's what that's all about. Yeah. I see. I see how you're doing it. I see how you're doing it. 
And Brown Lee, how long you been married? Four years. How many kids you got? Four kids. <laughs> he said, look, I ain't got no time to be playing with you. <laughs> that is good stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We are back. The Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. And I'm telling you, we just heard from Yannette Odessa, and I walked into the audience, ladies and gentlemen. I seldomly do this because we already have a plan, but I had to break um, what I wanted to do, break the order, because this young man is in the audience, and he is one of the premier voices in gospel music. Yes. Season three runner-up, right under Leandria Johnson of Sunday's Best, but I'm telling you, he has spared no expense in being every place he needs to be at the right time. Come on up here, man. This is Goldwire McClendon. Come on, show your love. Good to see you, man. It's a pleasure to see you. You're getting younger. I'm getting younger? Do you tell your age? I usually do. Okay, how old are you? 88. This brother is 88 standing next to me. You hear me? Oh, come on. Huh? That ain't no Tourette's. That's energy. <laughs> Listen, family, I'm so happy about what God is doing for your life. Tell me, in 88 years, what have you learned that has sustained you this long? You know, you have to stay in the Word and be obedient to what he says. When they go to the Old Testament, when they didn't obey him, they suffered the consequences. And I feel that the Lord wants us to obey what he says. Mm. If he said it, do it. Yes, right. Amen. I love it. I love it. Yes. Now, I got you up here because a lot of people, the older that they get, some people start losing their voice. You hear somebody in their 20s and 30s, and they are killing it, and then you hear them again in their 60s and 70s, and you can tell that something is lacking. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I'm just going to start a song, and then you just finish it. Oh, really? Can we do that? <laughs> oh, no. Do this for me. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. <laughs> Go ahead. I've had some weary days. <laughs> but, but when I look around, oh. <laughs> drama. You all know nothing about that. Yeah. And when I think things over, oh, 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 oh. all of my, all of my good days, <laughs> they are where my. So I won't complain. Ah. Come on, show your love, Elder Goldwire McClendon. <laughs> right here on the Lottie Hunter Variety Show. You never know what might go on, baby boy, baby girl. So stay put. I got you. We'll be right back with more. Yes, sir. Man, I love when people just stop by the show. What? Goldwire McClendon is a voice to be reckoned with, ladies and gentlemen. We weren't even expecting it, and I looked up, and there he was in the front row. So you see what happened, right? I'm telling you right now, you need to follow me on Instagram, Lonnie Hunter Music, Facebook, Lonnie Hunter Music, or Twitter, Lonnie Hunter Music, so you can keep up with when we are going to be taping so that you can be a part of that live studio audience. It's a lot that goes on that you don't see, that we have a good time with. So follow me right now and stuff like Goldwire and McClendon. Um, you know what? You need to do that so you can just see it. I ain't gonna tell you nothing. Ain't nobody told me nothing. <laughs> it's the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show, Impact Television Network. Let's do it. Woo! Yes, sir. Let's 
ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Yes, sir, it is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show, and we are featuring some people that you may not know just yet, but you will after today. Yeah, coming to the stage right now is Miss Keandra Lockett from Shre Shreveport, Louisiana. She a uh, two-time Stellar Award nominee, and the album is called The Hill. Put your hands together for Keandra Lockett. <laughs> Bless you all. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. 
You sound incredible. Thank you. Yeah, don't you sound good, y'all? Yeah. Now, the test always, Keandra, is how well do you sound with the trap off? Okay. Take me to the water. Go. Take me to the water. <laughs> <laughs> Train me to the well, no, 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 to be baptized. Yeah! Ah. The new CD out is, is out right now, right? Yes, sir. And it is entitled? The Heel. The Heel. Mm -hmm. And the, the single that I've been hearing is what? Try. Try, right? Mm -hmm. Where can they get it? You can go and get it wherever you purchase your music digitally. Title, stream it, all that kind of stuff. Go and get it. Now, you're from a girl group that you all might remember called? Zyle. Y'all remember Zyle when they were out? And what happened to them? Well, we disbanded. And uh, a couple of us decided to just continue on with our careers. And we still bless in the name of Jesus. Amen? Amen. 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 The reason I brought that up is because I am so excited about the fact that you did not let what was supposed to be in your head stop you from what God has for wow. you. So go get it. If it's supposed to be by yourself, it's supposed to be with somebody else, whatever it is, let him take you to the water. Thank be you. Be baptized Thank and get you. your drive Amen. on. You feel me? Come on, show your love right now. For Miss Keogh Love you, baby. Wait, teach me, teach me that run you just did. That, <laughs> this, you do this. Which, which one is this? Sing again, take me to the water. Take me to That. <laughs> Come on, I'm gonna take you down. <laughs> Watch me do that Sunday, stay right there. <laughs> take me to <laughs> Y'all make her feel real good. Pastor J uh, Johnson and Brownlee are back there in their Bible doing, doing a Bible study right now. <laughs> Talking about, he ain't gonna embarrass me on no TV. <laughs> I see you, I see you in your mind. I know what's going on in your mind. That's good stuff. Yes, sir, hanging out here in these Philly streets, ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day, but I wanna talk to you. Those of you out there that have been talking yourself out of doing what God has called you to do. I want you to know, everything you need, you already have. You ain't gotta go nowhere else to get it. All you gotta do is enhance it. But there's three words from the Lord for somebody that's watching me right now. I don't know who's gonna gravitate to this word, who's gonna run with it, but if you take a step on this word, it will come to pass, it will come to fruition. And the words are, go for it. I don't know what your it is, you know what your it is, but something's been holding you back from stretching out on that thing. You understand me? I'm here to tell you today, this Saturday night, that everything God has promised you, it's time for you to go for it. Go for it and get it done. Huh? Let's get back to the show. It is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show on the Impact Television Network. Boom! Love you for real. Yes, sir. Welcome back. This is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. We are so glad you are with us. This segment, as I've been telling you all night long, is a lot of up and coming artists. And we went to the DMV to get this young man right here. He has been doing great things in the industry. And we are glad about what God is about to break forth in his career. Out of the DMV, the new single is called My Help. He is a father. He is a husband. He is a man of God. Put your hands together for Jeremiah Hicks. So listen, how many of you need the help of the Lord? Would you just lift those hands and say, my help comes from the Lord. Come on, somebody shout, God, thank you for being my help. Hallelujah. I will no longer be afraid of fear and worry when they call out my name. 
Lord, now I see your help is what I need. And I will be focused, keep my eyes on thee. This is what the Lord told me. It's my help, my help, my help, my help. You are my help, my help, my help. Thank you for being. This is my declaration that I'll no longer be afraid. The scripture says, your name's a strong tower when I'm running, I'm safe. Oh, Lord, now I see your help is what I need. And I will be focused and I'll keep my eyes on me. And would you slip those hands up in the air right here and declare, sing my name. So I thank you for being my Can I just tell a little bit of my testimony? It might be yours too. Listen, I've been waiting for my change to come. I've been broken. Now the God in me has won. I dare you to sing it right here. All of my help is coming from you. Come on, I dare somebody that doesn't mind lifting those hands and receiving it. God, so we give you glory. We give you honor. Come on, everybody. Sing all of my help. You got to lift up your eyes towards the hills from which cometh your help. Oh, all of my help. Yeah. Listen. All of my all of my joy, all of my love. Come on, does anybody need help from the Lord? Come on, sing all of my, all of my. Come on, I need you to carry this. Come on, somebody pick this chant up right here. It's coming, all of my help, yeah. From you. Come on, look towards you. heaven. It's coming from you. It's coming from oh, it's yeah. Come on, just one more time, just the audience. See all of my help. Come on, all of my help. All of my help is everybody sing. All of my help, yeah. Come on, I dare somebody to receive it right here. Yeah. Somebody look towards the hills. Thank you. 
I'm very excited and honored to be a part. Thank you so much, Lonnie, for having me. I'm excited. Uh, it's already a family affair. Uh, people are here. Um, Keandra, so um, I'm honored to be a part. Pastors, y'all ready for your word? It's coming. I know you're getting nervous. <laughs> you ready? All right. It's not going to be hard. I'm coming from the book of uh, Revelations, part oh, two. <laughs> so hopefully you've read past that last page. You know, it's a whole nother situation past that last page. <laughs> My Bible says, but wait, there's more. We're backstage right now. This is dope. Not too bad. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. We have been listening to talent all night long, and I'm telling you, we are so excited to be able to not just listen to them, but to talk to them and get a little bit of their story. So you heard her earlier, and you just heard him. I want to bring them back out. Y'all make them feel real good. Miss Yonette Odessa and Jeremiah Hicks. What's happening, family? What's going on? Y'all looking good. good Thank you, man. Thank good you for having you. us. This is this is great. This now is amazing. For, for the audience that saw you come out together, they are not married. <laughs> they are not a couple. Sure not. My right? wife wouldn't have it. <laughs> They're just here together at the same time. How about that? <laughs> Yannette, tell me about where you come from. I was born in South America, Guyana. So I'm a GT girl. Big up to all the GT people around the world. Now, what's GT? Because you ain't got none of them GT, in here. GT, it, it just stands for <laughs> Georgetown. Georgetown. And that's the okay. capital of Guyana. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, what's the difference between standing in front of a Guyanian, Guyanian Gu audience? Guyanese. Guyanese? Guyanese. I am learning something today. <laughs> so what's the difference between a Guyanese audience and an American audience? Is it harder to sing in front of one or the other, or is it the same? It's the same. It's pretty much the same. It's okay. people. Because I found when I have traveled overseas, like in Italy, you can sing um, Joy to the World, and they will act like the last coming has already come right. and have a good time. <laughs> You get back to your home church, not your home church, but your home city, sing the same song, and they like, I know you got to be selected. Back today. You, know, right. you know what I'm saying? Do you I see mean, a the, difference the, at all? The reception can be a little bit different. Uh, Guyanese are more free and liberated and um, more accepting. Okay. Americans, it's kind of hard to impress Americans. You know, you got to break through some barriers a got little it. bit. Got it. So when yeah. you talk about impressing, how much of that, how much of the percentage of impressing somebody is it in your performance, in your ministry, Jeremiah? You know, I've, I've gotten to the point where um, I don't feel like I need to impress anybody. Okay. Um, I feel that the impressing people thing, um, it, it literally makes you feel validated or not. And um, if God has given you a gift, you give, if he's given you anointing and ability and put oil on your life, you have to know that God has called you. Right. Yeah. Yes. And, um, so my thing is, is that, God, you get the glory, and whoever has a heart that's open enough to receive yeah. what you have Amen. through me as a vessel, Good stuff. so be it. These are yeah. the artists, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, coming up. Now, what I want you to do, Jeremiah, is finish this song. Okay. Yes, Jesus loved me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Your neck. Yes, Jesus loves me. Oh, yes, Jesus, he loves me. Yes, Jesus, he loves me, for the Bible tells me so. Yeah. 
What's going on, though? Go easy, man. Oh, Go easy. come on now. Oh, come on now. What's up, boy? You good? Let's go have a seat. Is First Lady Talia around? Twice as fast. Isaac. First Lady Talia, where you at? Four times fast, Isaac. <laughs> you trying to go to Cancun, First Lady? This is the Cancun trip. <laughs> this is the Cancun trip. Man. Bonnie, who do you want to ask my Bible? Uh, Y'all look so nervous. <laughs> Like deer sitting in headlights, Lord Jesus. Y'all gonna be fine. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show, and I'm telling you, you're looking at the stage right now and you're thinking, who are these two cats just sitting up there chilling <laughs> in street clothes? Well, I grabbed him out of the audience to do this game called Finish This Scripture. All they have to do is when I stop reading, fill in the blank where I left off, and I will keep reading. Then they fill in the word when I stop again. It's like musical chairs with the word. How about that? And the one that does the most in the least amount of time will be the winner, and somebody is going to Cancun, Mexico. Yeah. So let's meet the contestants. First up is Pastor Reginald Johnson from Holy Nation Baptist Church. Uh huh? Pastor Reginald got that uh, voice. Pastor Reginald Johnson from Holy Nation Baptist Church. Uh huh? And we also have Pastor William A. Brownlee Sr. from Emmanuel Christian Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Amen. And how long have you been pastoring? I've been pastoring five years. Five years pastoring, and you? Pastor in 10 years. 10 years. Okay. So we got some word up here. You know what I'm saying? Don't mess up. It's going to be real bad. <laughs> no pressure. All right. You are first, Pastor. All right? All right. Put your, put your mic, next, mic next to your mouth, and I'm going to start reading, and you just say when I stop. All right? And we're starting now. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid of? The Lord is the strength of my life. And whom shall I be afraid of? What y'all going to do? Just cheat? That's what you're going to do? Yeah. Appreciate you. Appreciate yeah. you. And make sure this stays right on TV, because I got an audience full of cheating <laughs> people, and I want the world to know. So if we can just get a pan across the audience so that they can see who it is cheating, all right? <laughs> so no help from the audience, all right? Yeah, they trying to be deep. They want to get your trip. You understand what I'm saying? You ready? Yep. When the, when the wicked, even mine, enemies, and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell, though a host should a camp against me, my heart will not fear, though a host, no end, uh, war should rise. That's where we're at. All right. So did y'all count that since y'all was cheating? <laughs> you got 12. All right. Now, I don't know how I'm counting and doing it at the same time. I got a whole audience full of co-hosts. Y'all should be counting. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Are y'all counting? You ready? Yes, sir. The Lord is, the, is my... Light. Strength. Mm -mm. The, let me start again. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth besides still waters. He restores my soul and leadeth me in path of righteousness for his name sake. sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod. Uh -huh, keep going. Thy staff that comfort me, that will Stop. Thou. <laughs> <laughs> Thou prepareth a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou, thou anointed uh -huh. my head go ahead. with oil. Go ahead. Thy cup go. running over. Go. Surely go. goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord. 
Yes, sir! <laughs> Go ahead, Pastor Brownlee. That thing was funny. You can tell when he got his role on, right? He wanted to take my job. Yeah, you go walk through the valley of shadow. I don't, I don't need no breaks. Just give me the scripture, dog, and I'm taking my wife to Cancun. <laughs> this is what I want to do for you, pastors, for doing great work in the city of Philadelphia and the surrounding areas. I appreciate everything you do. You are a church partner to this show, and you didn't know we were going to do this, so I'm going to give both of you tips. How about that? Five days, four nights stay in Cancun, Mexico, courtesy of YouGospel.com. We will be right back. Are you enjoying this show? I am definitely enjoying it for real. But check this out. This is one of the shows where you really pretty much get to see it all. The good, the bad, the smooth, the mistakes. It's called our blooper reel. Now, normally, we would put the bloopers at the end of the show and you would see, okay, these are where the mistakes happen or the funny stuff happen. But this week, They've been all through the show, so you probably like, now I don't know what's real, I don't know what's fake, I don't know what's going on, just tell me when to laugh. <laughs> so you never know what's gonna go on on the Lonnie Hunter Show. We got so much coming up in the next couple of weeks that I can't wait for you to see, all right? But all you gotta do, because it's free, is stay right where you have it every Saturday night, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Matter of fact, do me a favor. Call somebody and tell them about the show. Do me a favor. Tweet somebody and tell them about the show. Leave a message for somebody and tell them about the show. But here is the clicker. After you tell them about the show, tell them something that's encouraging for them. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of you. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. I see you. Keep doing what you're doing. You never know what a small five minute message or three second message even will do for the trajectory of somebody else's life because a lot of people out here feel like they are out here doing this thing by themselves and nobody is paying them attention. If you know somebody who you can help right now by encouraging them, do it. Just pick up the phone. It don't cost you nothing. And then meet me right back here next Saturday, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, Impact Television Network. Let's go. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. At the end of every show, we try to leave you with something that will be positive as it relates to your journey and your destiny. We call that your get it done mindset of the week. Today, your dreams will never come true until you do. What do you mean by that, Lonnie? Until you come true about what you can and cannot do, your dreams will never come true. Until you come true about how much grind you put in to what God has called you to do, your dreams will never come true. Until you come true about who God is in your life, you read of him, you learn of him, you spend time with him, you have a relationship with him. If none of that stuff is true, your dreams, your destiny, your purpose will never come true. Your dreams won't come true until you do. It is the Lonnie Hunter Variety Show. Have a great day. Get it done. I promise y'all I won't have to do this a million times. I promise you. I promise you. Y'all praying? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> you know you ain't said a prayer yet. Don't try it. Don't even try it. You can start now, though. Y'all can start now. Though. Your dreams, your destiny, your purpose will never come true. Your dreams won't come true until you do. It's the Lonnie Hunter variety. Ah! <laughs> ah! Y'all know it messed me up, right? I need some chapstick. My lips are so dry. 
Angel. <clears throat> can we just cut to the last part? Oh, never mind. I can lick my lip and do it through that. Absolutely. <laughs> Even though I'm not reading, glasses become a, comp uh, a security blanket. How many people wear glasses and when you take them off, you feel kind of naked, right? <laughs> right. It's like women in earrings or lipstick. I know how y'all do. I got four sisters. Right. I need my lips. I'll be like, what? <laughs> right. Did you lay them down somewhere? <laughs> right. I was born with my lips attached. What you doing? You know? <laughs> so ignorant. What's the clothing line at the leisure wear? Yes, sir. Jolie Noir. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Well, it means pretty black and rich. Oh, I'm sure it does. I'm talking about me trying to say it. Amen. Amen. Say the word again. Jolie Noir. Jolie Noir. Okay. No, I got you. I'm fluent in 86 different languages. I got you. And tongues is my first language. At least you wear Jolie Noir. Okay, I'm ready. Perception is everything. How many of you know that you would think somebody on social media is having a much better time than they really are? A much better life on social media than they really do have? They'd be sitting at home crying and depressed. Living my best life and come off like this. Right? Okay, best life. Hey, Denise. That's my sister from Chicago. It must be a Denise up front. She thought I was talking to her. <laughs> She's like, hey. 